Decimal to hexadecimal conversion is just a single step process and in this video we are going to learn how to convert this. So without wasting time, let's get started. To learn this, first of all we will take one decimal number and we are going to convert this into hexadecimal number. So in order to convert this decimal number into hexadecimal number, we are supposed to repeatedly divide this number by 16 and keep track of all the remainders in the division. So now we will start dividing this number, we will start dividing it with 16. So 971 divided by 16. So 60 16 is 960. So 971 minus 960 that gives us 11. So this is our remainder and this is our quotient. So we are going to write the quotient over here and 971 minus 960 gives us 11 as remainder. Now further this 60 will be divided by 16. So again we will divide this 60 by 16. So 60 divided by 16. So 16 3 is a 48. 60 minus 48 gives us 12. So this quotient 3 will be written over here. 60 minus 48 gives us 12 that is remainder. Now again we will try to divide this number by 16. But now this number can no more be divided by 16. So we will write this number as it is. So you should be keep on dividing this number until you reach at a place when this number can no more be divided by 16. Now here we have a table which shows hexadecimal equivalent to decimal number. Now there is no such number as 11 in hexadecimal. But instead of that there is some equivalent digit to 11. So equivalent of 11 is B in hexadecimal. Equivalent of 12 is C in hexadecimal and 3 is as it is. So now we have represented all these remainders in hexadecimal number and now we will combine all these remainders and write it from bottom to top like this 3 C B. So this is hexadecimal equivalent to this decimal number. Now wait for a moment and answer this question. What is the hexadecimal equivalent to this decimal number 189? Your options are a a d and b b d solve this as soon as possible and write the answer in comments and let's see how many of you got the right answer so now let's move ahead now it is time to convert hexadecimal number into decimal number and to learn this thing we are going to take a hexadecimal number that is a c 3 so first of all we'll write a c 3 in this manner now to convert this hexadecimal number into decimal number, we will start with the right most digit that is the 1's place and then we will move to the 10's place and 100's place. So now here we are going to multiply this number by 16 to the power 0, then 16 to the power 1 and then 16 to the power 2. Now the question is why we are multiplying 16 to the power something and the simple answer to this question is what is the base of the number which we are going to convert into decimal number? The base of this number is 16 and that is the reason why we are multiplying it with 16 to the power something. So now let's multiply 16 to the power 0 into 3 that is 1 into 3. Now I'll go for the next number 16 to the power 1 into C. Now can we multiply 16 into C? That is not possible. So what is the decimal equivalent to C? For that we are going to use this table. So decimal equivalent to C is 12. So what we are going to do 16 to the power 1 or 16 raised to 1 multiply by 12. So we will use 16 into 12. The next is 16 to the power 2 into A. Now what is the decimal equivalent to A? That is 10. So we will use 256 into 10. And now we are going to add these numbers together. So 2560 plus 192 plus 3 and that gives us 2755. So this 2755 is the decimal equivalent to this hexadecimal number. And that's how you can convert hexadecimal into decimal number. Now here there are several examples. Solve it right now and write the answer in comments and check if your answer is correct or not. Similar to this, the fractional decimal to hexadecimal conversion is tricky process and to learn that thing, click on the video on your screen and here is that video. 
and if you want to explore more on digital electronics with animated videos visit our playlist on logic gates and digital electronics so see you into the next video